I trust you have come here to advise me on the matter at hand. I have. I think we should sail to Westeros as quickly as possible, my queen. We shall sail soon enough, my friend. But first, we must gather our forces and make sure they are prepared for battle. We have the dragons on our side, so we have an advantage. Let us not let this go to waste. We will make sure the dragons are ready, and I will source some ships for our voyage. Very well. Prepare the ships and make sure the dragon riders are ready for flight. Our journey will be long, but my family's birthright will be returned to me by fire and blood. By fire and blood, my queen. So be it. So a few weeks ago, Inworld AI reached out to me to ask if I wanted to mess around with their technology that allows you to create AI-powered NPCs and put them into your games. I, I obviously jumped at the chance, and then I had an issue. What was I going to create? Well, the answer came to me as if from a dream. I'm going to create my one true love, Daenerys Targaryen. I'm going to get her into a real engine. I'm going to build her a castle, and then I'm going to propose to her. We'll get married, and we will go and conquer Westeros together. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I did to create my AI-powered version of Daenerys Targaryen, get an avatar for her, get her set up in Unreal Engine, and then have a jolly good chinwag with her. Because I'm a gentleman who's only interested in Danny for her personality, I decided I would start this process by creating her AI. I had to go to inworld.ai and create an account, and then I could log into the Inworld Studio, which is where you can create the personality for your AI. The characters are organized through workspaces, so I created one, and now I could create my new character, my Moon and Stars, Danny T. I entered her name as well as a short paragraph about her to give the AI something to chew on. That's already enough to have a chat with the character, but I wanted to give my soulmate more depth before I introduced myself, so I took myself over to the character creation interface. Here is where you can add a lot more information about and personality to your character, including motivations and identity. I'm pretty sure she identifies as female, she's a conqueror, a leader, and she's my queen. She's also known by other names such as Danny, Mother of Dragons and the Unburnt. I gave her some hobbies and interests and then one of the absolute best features is the ability to add a Wikipedia link for famous characters. This will give the AI lots of extra information to draw from when it's creating my boo. Then I need to fine tune her personality and emotions. She's pretty happy. She's also got a bit of a temper on her. Just ask the small folks of King's Landing, am I right? Probably a bit too trusting. She often doesn't see situations coming, so I'll move this slider towards surprise. She can also change mood quite quickly, so we'll put the emotional fluidity toward dynamic. I'll also add some character traits in here before setting the other personality stats for her over here. Next, I added some facts and knowledge for my queen, but I tried to keep this to just stuff that she personally would know. General stuff about the world and history that everyone in the world would know goes in a common knowledge section, which I'll do soon. Next up, I needed to give her a voice. Kind of like the sea witch in The Little Mermaid, but like opposite. After I listened to all of the female voices, and there's quite a lot to choose from, I settled on this one. Hello, I'm Daenerys Targaryen. Doesn't she sound just beautiful? Now, I chose her dialogue style. I decided that she's quite formal. I know my love likes to keep it professional when she's queening. Then, it's a good idea to input some example dialogue to give the AI a better idea of how you want the character to speak. After that, I turned filler words on so that she'll say things like, um, when she's thinking. Although I'm not convinced this actually worked for the voice that I chose. And then I hit the save button to give life to my Khaleesi. I could have spoken to her now if I wanted to, but I still held off on our first meeting until Danny knew more about her world, so I went to the common knowledge section and dropped a big Song of Ice and Fire shaped knowledge bomb all over her. One final thing that I needed to do was to create a scene so that Danny had an idea of her situation when I finally woke her up. Now I was ready for the first test. I clicked on chat now, enabled my microphone, and then... Hi there, what's your name? My name is Queen Deanery Stormborn of the House of Targaryen, the first of her name. The Unburnt, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, Protector of the Realm, Lady Regent of the Seven Kingdoms and Mother of Dragons. And what are your motivations, Daenerys? My motivation is simple. To restore the honor of my family by taking back the Iron Throne. This is a birthright that was stolen from us. 
The Lannisters will pay for what they have done, by fire, blood, or whatever force it takes. I will ride on horseback or dragon back if need be to make that happen. Nice. She's alive! She's really alive! Now it's time to give her a body. Luckily, in-world have integration with Ready Player Me, so you can create an avatar for your character in literally minutes. It even gives you the option to start with a selfie or photograph, which is exactly what I did. After a few seconds, it generates an avatar, and after making a few tweaks to her appearance to make sure she looks like the purple-eyed badass warrior queen that I fell in love with, she is ready. Next, I shared it on the web so that we could finally meet face to face. I am the last living member of House of Targaryen, and I have three dragons. I will reclaim my birthright by any means necessary. How may I serve you, my queen? You may serve me by providing counsel. What do you think of my plan to cross the narrow sea and take back my throne? I think it is your birthright, but we must be careful. We don't want to be defeated in our conquest. We are both of the same mind, and we share a common goal. We will do whatever it takes to succeed and restore my family's rightful place. How shall we proceed? I think we should take the Unsullied over the ground, while you rain fire from above with your dragons. Very well, so be it. Brilliant. That's decided then. I don't know about you, but I think that was a pretty successful first date. She's definitely letting me walk her home after doing all of that heavy flirting. Now that Danny has a personality and an avatar, it's time to see if I could get it set up in Unreal Engine. I'll be honest here, when I agreed to make this video, I really didn't think I'd be able to set up something as complicated as an AI character which needs to talk to in-world AI over the internet to get her responses and fetch them back to play in the engine, as well as setting up microphone input which the character could hear and respond to. In-world say they provide a plugin though, so let's see if I can do it. I started by creating a new first person project in Unreal Engine 5, and then once it was created I closed the editor created a plugins folder in the project and then added the Unreal Engine 5 plugin which I had downloaded from InWorld. Then I just opened the project again and had to wait for like five minutes while it did some building stuff in the background. And then when the editor eventually opened up, I checked the tools menu to see if the plugin showed up, which it did. So far so good. Next I had to get logged in. This was pretty easy to be fair. I got an access token from the InWorld Studio site and pasted that into the plugin to log in. Then I just had to choose my workspace scene and an API key which I also generated on the InWorld Studio. And then, as if by magic, my future wife showed up ready to be imported. Following the detailed instructions in the InWorld AI documentation, I then knew that I needed to click the button to assign to current map and then click on the Create Blueprint button. After a few seconds, there she was, right there in my content browser. I can't wait to tell our kids that this is how we met. For our second date, I thought she'd like to meet in the default first person map, so I dropped her in there and pressed the play button. Everything had gone perfectly so far, why was I even worried about it being complicated? Oh, she's looking at me. Hi! Greetings, player. You are a loyal friend and I thank you for your advice. Why aren't your lips moving? I am discussing my plans for conquering Westeros. I will take back what is rightfully mine by force if necessary. <sighs> I knew it. I cocked something up. I was heartbroken, crestfallen. I mean, look at this guy. He looks defeated. I honestly had no idea what I'd done wrong here and I didn't know how I was going to fix it. Luckily though, InWorld have a very active Discord server where one of their team helped me to realise I'd just screwed up the naming of the folders in the plugins folder. So I fixed that, launched the project again and crossed my fingers. Hi there, what's your name? Greetings player. It worked! Look how happy I am! This must be how Romeo felt when he first laid eyes on Juliet, right? Before we could really get to know each other, I wanted her to know I was serious, so I made Danny this promise. Why don't I build you a really nice throne room and then we'll have a proper conversation? That would be appreciated, thank you. So then I spent a few hours building my crush, the castle of her dreams, and even took 10 minutes to touch up her textures to really bring out the colour of her eyes and to make her look more like the queen that I love and less like a warrior pilot. I helped her into her new thread and showed her around the castle I built for her, and now it was time to finally show my queen 
that I could be her trusted right-hand man. My queen, I came as quick as I could. I am pleased to see you, player. I trust you have come here to advise me on the matter at hand. I have. I think we should sail to Westeros as quickly as possible, my queen. We shall sail soon enough, my friend. But first, we must gather our forces and make sure they are prepared for battle. We have the dragons on our side, so we have an advantage. Let us not let this go to waste. We should not let this go to waste. We will make sure the dragons are ready, the Unsullied are ready, and I will source some ships for our voyage. Very well. Prepare the ships and make sure the dragon riders are ready for flight. Our journey will be long, but my family's birthright will be returned to me by fire and blood. By fire and blood, my queen. So be it. And can I ask you just one more question? Do you have a favourite YouTube channel? I'm afraid my duties as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms prevent me from having the luxury of watching YouTube. I think your favourite YouTube channel would be Game Dev Academy. It is kind of you to suggest such a thing, but my primary concern is the conquest of West Arrows. Let us focus on what needs to be done and leave the luxuries for another day. Okay, no problem. Very well then, let's discuss how we will take back what is right for the hours. So you can see, it works shockingly well. Danny can hold a convincing conversation about a variety of topics, even things that aren't in the information I provided to InWorld Studio. I think this will literally be game-changing for NPCs in games, and I cannot wait to see what will happen when developers start building game ideas around this technology. And that then is everything I did to create my AI-powered Daenerys Targaryen. If you want to have a little chat with her, if you check the link below the video, I've set her up in, I think it's called Inworld Arcade, where you can chat to any of the characters. So go and ask her some stuff. Why don't you ask her what her favourite YouTube channel is? Inworld AI is currently in open beta, so I would highly recommend that you sign up and give it a go. It's so much easier than I thought it was going to be, and it's a lot of fun. And you get a different conversation out of your characters every time. And you can literally ask them anything you want. One of my co-workers asked Daenerys what she knew about virtualization and she told him all about network stuff that I didn't understand. So, like, sh she's good, she's good. Right then, uh, that brings us to the end of another video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, share it around, leave a like, leave me a comment. Make sure you subscribe if you want more videos like this. This is Game Dev Academy, I'm Shane, and we do stuff like this all the time. Let's learn how to make games together, eh? Thanks to all my patrons. You can see their names on screen now. These guys are Dabom. If you want to become a patron, use the link in the video. You know what to do. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Laters.